So I've taken on a new project. It's a Colchester, I think is his master, uh, with the cross slide that is um, a little bit worn. And also then, of course, the um, following um, saddle, uh, also worn. So these will be scraped in. And uh, that only I will not, the owner did not want to mess with the bed itself, hence we will probably leave the underside of the, of the saddle as is. Just so from the start here, um, the screw here is a bit special because of its uh, uh, using a, not the standard Acme or trapezoidal uh, thread form. Uh, but rather a rounded off type of thread. It's um, 2.5 millimeters millimeter lead or per revolution it rev advances 2.5 millimeters. And um, the handle here is uh, 50 uh, uh, divisions, uh, the dial I'm in sitting here. And that means it is uh, dialed or it's labeled or uh, marked up to um, represent the diameter when cutting. So one revolution takes 50 steps, meaning that you have that graduated to com a complete uh, diameter, not having to think about that. I will first undo this plug here now uh, before I start on the on to measure this. I'll leave the screw for now and also then um, measure up this plus the, uh, the saddle first. So the first thing I'll do is to press out the plug here because this is uh, just um, pressed in. Then after being absolutely certain there's no grit on the plate, having cleaned that, having cleaned this part, having stoned it, and you can try to measure as you can see it's a little bit high in the middle but um, not much here it's the opposite as so i can hardly get any shim underneath and uh, this shim is uh, uh, one hundredth of a millimeter. It goes a little bit under here, but not much. It's almost wants to go under, but not by much. So the next thing, of course, is to measure with, um, with uh, an indicator like this. And the, the plate here is about as small as uh, is practically possible to use. I would have liked to use my bigger plate, but that's occupied at the moment. So um, I'll use this instead. Uh, indicating this here, setting zero at the end there. This is a quality piece of um, equipment. And there you can see then that the reading hardly changes. And yet it's a little bit there, half a hundredth of a millimeter. And then a little bit low, it's a little bit low here, but and then half a hundred high there. So to find the wear, I start from the highest here, the unworn portion where I can see the machining marks. And I traverse the, yeah, from there where I have zeroed it. And then see if I can detect some wear. 
and here it starts this I'll just uh, mark with minus one so then I can conclude that um, by resting it on the top surface which I say is flat it's a little bit bald but not much and that this is where it's mostly worn on this uh, side here minus two almost here a little bit on the inside minus one that could be I mean I will this is the mo uh, most worn area uh, that side so I'll have to at least take it down minus two so possibly minus three or take it down three hundreds of a millimeter or let's say um thousands of an inch